In the 1920s, London, as ever, is the bustling commercial hub of the British Empire. In northwest London, workmen break ground for a huge project. They're building a complex of pavilions, gardens, and an immense stadium for an exhibition to show off the fruits of empire. A year later, on the 23rd of April, 1924, King George V and Queen Mary arrive at the brand new Empire Stadium. Later, it will be renamed Wembley Stadium. For the first time ever, the BBC's fledgling radio service broadcasts the King speaking. To come here today with the Queen for the purpose of opening the British Empire exhibition. He has encouraging words for the Empire's future. No one can doubt actual and potential of the Empire and how they can best be developed and utilized. Visitors can tour thousands of exhibits. Plus, there's an amusement park for children. On one June day, a record-breaking 300,000 visitors enjoy this display of the Empire's assets. The King and Queen tour a replica of an African village. Ashanti nobles from the Gold Coast demonstrate carving and weaving. The royal couple amaze onlookers by taking a ride on a miniature railway. Six months later, in a downpour, sodden crowds listen as the Prince of Wales, later King Edward VIII, closes the exhibition, proclaiming it a huge success. The exhibition brings the glory of the empire home to Britain, and along with that glory comes substantial wealth. <laughs> 